I come from a family where religion is considered something very personal, that people decide for themselves. And um, my mother's grandparents, which was quite unusual for the time, made the decision to not have their kids baptized. Um, they were A, they were sort of bohemians, and B, they were both involved with the resistance in Berlin. So when, during the war, my grandmother went to her church to, you know, in a very, you know, hidden way, ask for, for clothes for people in hiding and was turned down, she decided that, you know, she was done with the church. So I was um, very much against organized religion. And I'm actually in the process of converting now, which is in a, an interesting way. That was a, a revelation I had at class camp, I think not last year, but the year before, when I was on the dance floor and I was you know, in the middle of a dance with I don't know how many people, and I saw all these people coming towards me and swirling around me. And um, I just felt very strongly that you know, that I felt very much at home in this world. And I said, now it makes sense to me. Before it didn't. Because before, it was not part of my identity. And I'm, I'm somebody who has a very, very strong need to, um, for personal integrity. So I can't just take something on if I don't really feel that it's honest to do so. I'm having so much fun because... Um, I am taking uh, an adult, it was a barn but mitzvah class until we lost all the guys, you know, <laughs> for various reasons. I mean, um, so now it's, it's, a, it's a really interesting group of, of women, um, some of whom are converting. A lot of those women are older and just didn't have a bat mitzvah when they were young, you know. So it's a, it's a really interesting group of kind of feisty women who, and we do Torah study, and I learn um, to read Hebrew, and I really enjoy it. In a certain way, I grew into Judaism the way our kids grew into Judaism, you know? It's, you know, it's like I, we would go and um, either have a Seder or we would go to a Seder and we would celebrate holidays. and. And then after a while, you come to associate spring with Passover and, you know, and then you're like, mm, it's that time of the year. I think to, I need to get some matzah. <laughs>